Hey y'all, it's time for another episode of what I did this weekend. I got a couple of projects done. This first one here is extension cord made uh, with these mud boxes. I saw another YouTuber make one of these and I really liked it, so I decided to give it a try. You can buy a spool of this 12-3 wire, which is nice and thick, good enough to use for any, uh, any project around the farm or the shop. And you can buy one of these for a spool of 25 feet for about a dollar a foot. So it's really reasonable. And then you just pick up some of these mud boxes and whatever face panels you want. And uh, it's, it's super simple. So this is the, the two versions here I made. This one here I just cut out a hook so I can hang it on stuff out of uh, stainless steel. A sheet of stainless steel. And this here I put in a... Uh, USB plug, so it's kind of got the uh, blended old with new type of style here because I, I like these these mud boxes because they look old fashioned. Then you put the, the new plugs in there and it kind of is like the uh, you know, modern blended with the old. But uh, this is one version I made and this is the other one. This one here just has a normal uh, outlet, but this has a strain relief, which I really think is cool. I had to order it from uh, Home Depot, but it helps the cord from uh, kinking. So I got those done. And then over here, me and my boys were working on taking this DC motor and putting a speed controller on it. So I ordered some of these, what are these called? MOSFET. MOSFET transistors. And then uh, these dials here. And we built a speed controller for it. And it worked really well for several hours. And then all of a sudden it burst into flames. So I don't know what we did wrong. I uh, built a second one. And it didn't work at all. Maybe for like 10 seconds. And then it burst into flames. And I built a third one that did the same thing. So uh, we're going to go with a different, uh, a different route with this. Because it's not working for us. Here's another one. So yeah, all of these have, have uh, given up the ghost. We did buy a three-way switch to control it with so we could go forward and reverse. and That's our first soldering job we've ever tried, and it was pathetic, but it worked. So the three-way switches work, and I have a better, better uh, soldering job on another three-way switch, and it works as well. But these here, they just burst into flames. It's very startling if you're not expecting it. So those are the two projects I did. And then I just finished up building a quick shelf here to put toolboxes on. I just made it out of uh, rough cut stuff I cut in the sawmill. So that's sycamore. And then this piece down here at the bottom was just old oak. So I got that corner cleaned up. It's been a pain in the neck for years. But uh, that's that. If you all have any questions or anything, ask them in the comments. So far, I really like these uh, extension cords. And uh, I'll be building some more later on. Have a good day. Bye-bye.